Nintendo have literally just released the overview trailer for Nintendo Switch Sports and it gives us a better look at the online ranking structures, how to unlock customizations, and Nintendo actually acknowledged me's. But there are also a bunch of hidden details in the trailer, so let's look at six things you may have missed. At number one, custom equipment. There are multiple examples of different coloured and shaped equipment to play with in the overview trailer. There's this gold ball in soccer, different bowling balls, a different racket for badminton. These extra customizations are a really nice little touch. Now there is no indication of whether this is linked to your character's customization, but it does look to match the main player character in most cases, so maybe it is whoever is player one that affects the customization of the equipment. At number two, point multipliers. It's only there for a split second, but when the trailer mentions about earning points to use to unlock customizations for your sports mate, there's a long rally bonus up the top with a multiplier of 1.1. This implies that each sport gives a basic amount of points and that you earn more based on your performance, which would make sense and give incentive to get good. You only need 100 points to unlock a customization, and it looks like you get sets for both male and female looking sports mates when you get to the 100 point mark, not just unlocking a set of pants or a shirt as I had first imagined. Now speaking of those points, number three, customization is locked online only. This could just be a bit of bad wording on Nintendo's part, so hopefully in the full game this turns out to be wrong, but they specifically state this. By playing online, you'll earn points. By playing online, you'll earn points. This really implies that certain customizations and outfits will only be available to those who have a Nintendo Switch online subscription, which feels a bit janky to me. If you could get these customizations offline, I imagine they'd have stated, by playing matches, you'll earn points. So it looks like if you want squirrely face, you've gotta to get to smashing people online. At number four, facial customization looks tiny. So we get a glimpse of the customization screen and it looks like some fairly limited customization overall. There are only six types of face. You can also do skin color and eye color. Considering the wealth of customization that we previously had with Miis, especially with Miitopia on the Switch, it's a little disappointing to see such a small range. Now you can also do the eyebrows and makeup from the tabs at the top. And then we have a look at the clothing customizations where you can see main outfit, a hat, glasses and a mask tab so you'll be able to do some stuff to customize your character obviously it's just not as in-depth as previous me character creators which really lends credibility to my theory that nintendo switch sports is mainly focused on those unlockable skins for customization rather than the more personal touches with the faces with the me's check out the full theory for that after this video now, number five, additional controls in volleyball and chambra. As one of the netted sports, volleyball runs the risk of playing too similarly to tennis and badminton, but the trailer shows off not only the various purely motion-based controls from before, but ways you can strategically place your sports mate or me in the game. At certain points, these arrows appear. Moving left and right is possible, likely done through the joystick, which allows you to better position yourself for the incoming ball. Considering tennis and badminton also control your place on the field, this really looks like a way to set itself apart. Also, speaking of controls, we get motion examples of the different swords in Shambara, how their attacks work as well, which is really cool to see. This also shows that you can use whatever sword you want against someone else, which goes against what I previously thought, which was that it would be sword v sword, charge sword v charge sword, and so on. So you can find a style that you're really good at and go for it online. And finally, at number six, custom titles. We get a look at 32 custom titles from the game, which I imagine to be unlockable based on performances in sports, or maybe just random rewards from the point system. Hopefully it's the former. Anyway, we get to see them prominently in the results screen, and we see a bunch of titles. The so-called, impossible, designer, aggression, longed for, excited, happy, expected, extreme, fresh, online, rival, baby, vague, the, monster, original, hero, thanks, mysterious, executive, 100% samurai, birthday, okay, sorry, picky, goodnight, idol, indeed, the girl, and rookie being available. I very much imagine we'll be able to see a lot more in the game as well. So you know what, let's do a bonus one, and it's a bit of a more negative one, but I think that the trailer implies the main difference shown between tennis and badminton, apart from the drop shot, which doesn't really affect too much in my opinion, is that badminton has just one player per side, whereas tennis always has two. This feels like a weird distinction for a game that looks like it plays pretty much the same, and I'd say that they probably could have gotten away without badminton in the game. They should have focused on golf as a launch sport. But anyway, those are six, well, seven things that you missed from Nintendo Switch Sports' new overview trailer. A few hidden details, and I especially love the custom equipment. Not so much that some of the customizations seem to be locked behind online only. 
Hopefully that is just bad wording though. Leave a comment below if you learned something cool or if I missed something major, it does usually happen. And thank you so much for your time. Please subscribe for more Nintendo Switch Sports content on the way. Thanks to my patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles 1311 and Sick Hippie for supporting me through Patreon. I've been Master Trainer Peter and I'll see you soon.